Hey guys, so much for joining me. My name is AJ. Welcome back to the episode of Let's Build a City. We're back at the oil mode today. I really like how this is coming on, even though it's super basic at the moment. Uh, I think it gives us good potential to make this into a really cool little mini build in the well, a build at least, not really small, is it? A build in the city today. I'd like to work on the crane at least, but I want to make things. I don't know why, but I want to make things a little bit harder on ourselves by making the crane diagonal. I wanted to go out perfectly diagonal that way which is hard to do in minecraft anything in uh, diagonal in minecraft is difficult but i think it'll just be cool to sort of have something going off at a bit of a different angle now to do that well it'd be cool if actually like we won't be able to do it in minecraft but what if we could do it in a way that the crane would be able to turn and rotate to get different angles so if like a boat parked up here like the crane could like drop down on different parts of the boat that would be really cool to do so to do that we'd need it on some sort of like revolving hinge wouldn't we right so if we got something let's get some grays a few different colored grays here and let's turn these shaders off what if we had something like we want to make it a circle so i want to have five one two three four five. Oh, that looks good. Four, five. Ah, no. And uh, one. Nope. Wrong ones. One two. Like that. Okay, I think that's pretty cool as like a pit of size for the um, like holder for the crane. So what we'll do now is we'll go into this and we'll make a light grey ring. And this is going to be like a like the uh, what would you call it? like a washer, like a giant washer part. You know when you're uh, building like I don't know a go kart or something like that by bolts and screws you always need like washers so they run and they don't cause too much friction well that's what we're doing here we're gonna go with a gray now above it I might change that bottom to gray as well I think the, gr the gray might look better than the stone if we go from there to there uh, replace stone with 35.7 35 seven. there we go just makes all of that gray as well on the bottom uh, and then we put this back on top same size circle as the gray one below we're using sort of fantasy technology here i think it's within the realms of of, of uh real technology here to have like a revolving crane but i'm not sure if they'd do it in this way i don't know so yeah this part would stay stuck to the ground this would like be bolted to the uh the oil rig and then this part above here would be able to rotate around it'd be so awesome so if we could get this to now look like a dome that would be even more amazing now how could i do that in an easyish way <coughs> I, don't, I think I, I think i'm gonna have to build it manually <coughs> i'm joking i'm dying i'm alive <coughs> okay i'm good okay i've cleared it the the bug in my throat or whatever it was frog in my throat is now uh has now gone <laughs> a little heart attack there right let's put these on top yeah i'm gonna have to build it manually i was trying to think of a way that we could like create a sphere but if we created a sphere it would go through the ground it would just cause more cleaning up than than what we want uh, so we might as well just do it man build it manually here and uh it'll be quicker for us so this is like building castle tops you know uh, castle tower tops what you need to do is just gently and carefully go up each layer and make sure you do all four at the same time so you don't just work on one side just gently work up and try and uh curve it in slightly like like how a dome would be see see how we're getting that now it doesn't matter if you get it wrong in fact i will probably get it wrong just sort of keep working get up to a uh, until it's all enclosed in and then stand back and have a look and you'll be able to see how close you are to it being right and you can make small adjustments from there so i'm just sort of trying to imagine what this looks like on the outside and i think that would be about right uh, i think we'd then do that no i think i'll do that i'm gonna do that that might not be right it looks a little bit weird to me but i'm gonna go with it this so i'm trying to round i'm, I'm trying to sort of cap it off now because you don't want to keep going up forever i don't like that either 
gonna stand back and see how sort of dome like it looks. That's cool. It's like a little like a, a little mushroom top. You'd imagine that being a mushroom. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Now, whoops. Now what we want to do is take a slice out uh, diagonally here, like that, and that's going to be like, sort of like a, an observatory, isn't it? You know, like a telescope would sit through them and look up. But instead of a telescope, we're going to be doing a crane. Now I think probably red would be the cool block for this uh, either red wool or red clay red clay probably looks a little bit more metallic it needs to come out of here but i want it to look i want it to look strong enough because if we just do it like uh like this <laughs> it doesn't look like that's going to be able to hold much up at all so i think what we'll do is we'll do one low down and one higher up okay and they'll both sort of go up i think sort of up at a very slight not too much of an angle and then we'll anchor it to the sides of these and i think that will work now this isn't an easy thing to do what i'm going to do is i'm going to go up one and out two every time so it's like two blocks two blocks two blocks and i think that's going to be a nice gentle um curve then not curve uh, a gentle slope how far out do we want to go? Pretty far, I think. See, so probably a bit further than that. Not too much further, but a little bit further. Uh, up one. That one. See, that's that probably... That's sitting well with me, like that distance away from it. And then you would have like a little bit that comes down. So what we need to do is do this on the top. I don't know what the best place to stand is to make it easier for myself. Uh, uh, uh. Okay. Gotta be nearly there. Right? <laughs> yeah, there we go. Okay. So that's going to be like that. And then... How could I make this look uh, like, like uh, stronger? Like if I got some some stone would do, and then do like that, that one, that one, that one, that one. Just easy to do like that, I think. Okay, then it'll go into there. All right, I think I want like a. Th really hard to do um wool it's not looking strong enough to me yet so if i put those on top of them all right now that looks okay that looks like a sort of big um what do you call it scaffolding style bars with a little bit of color in it so then we can do that sort of caps off the end and then we can have uh i'll probably use a fence oh yeah this one that's perfect it's smaller than the um uh stone walls you see it looks a little bit more like a chain to me so we'll drop this down and then what would they have like on the bottom of this would they just have like a hook or something well they they i suppose they'd strap it wouldn't they so what we'll do is we'll have a slab I think I'll have like this and then they would have like little um, uh, like ropes or not ropes but you know what I mean oh they don't connect up do they I'll do it like that what do they call them like ratchet straps that's it like hooked up to it or they could be like pins and they slot into the crates and stuff like that either way I think that's good I think that looks fine down there but it looks like it could bend a little bit it's not too bad but if we could connect up from the side here hello rain from the side here and sort of go out up and now in <laughs> so we're going we're going up uh and then in one 
and then up one and then up and in one and then up one and then up and in one and then we sort of get this sort of triangle here so we'll do the same on the other side I think that's the one nope there was one in the, whoops, in the middle so that one up one up and in one up one up and in one good if we match on the other side then we know we, we're pretty close <laughs> up one up and in one and then how could I connect these up as well uh, I'll probably use these again and I want something that I could sort of repeat Oh, that looks so cool. Two, three, four. One, two, three. One, two. Huh? Is it? What? Huh? Why doesn't that join up? Oh, it's because I'm on the stupid wrong side. That's better. <laughs> wow, confuzzled me for a minute. That one, that one. And I think I'll put those ones in there. Okay, now that looks strong as. I, I could imagine that being able to hold a huge amount of weight. Now, that actually looks really cool. I like the combination of blocks that we're using there. Right, amazing. So I can now pick up things. That revolves. We're all good. What we need now, right, is get to some uh, start getting some detail down on here. Maybe in this area here, we have some crates that have been picked up. Um, maybe we can use the same sort of crates as what we used on the um, cargo boat. As soon as it's nearby, I think it would look good if the crates had the same dimensions and same colours and stuff. I suppose inside of these crates would have... I don't know, resources and materials and uh, stuff like that. Let's just grab one. And then I don't need to worry about thinking about sizes. There we go. Uh, waypoints. I'll just teleport it back there because I'm lazy. Um, oh, I never I never copied it, did I? Oh, I'll just have to make it up then. I ain't going all the way back. Blue. I know that it was a 3x3. Uh, three on the edge uh, three four five six seven eight nine you know nine for some reason is ringing a bell with me it was a long long time ago that i built that those crates and that boat but for some reason three by nine sounds like a number that i would choose it's very me and i know me the best out of everybody nobody knows me better than me uh will Oops, we'll have orange, we'll have red, we'll have green. So I'll do another one here. I'm just doing it one block uh, off from each other. I don't need to fill them all in. I'll just fill in the ones that I need to. <laughs> I don't need to make this solid. Okay, and then we'll have a red one on top. Uh, that one like this whoops fell and then maybe a green one just on its own a little bit more and a green one down here a little bit of space between it maybe seeing one block back again yeah Okay, now, so we've got crates on here, we've made use of the uh, ship nearby, we've made use of the crane on board of it, it doesn't look like it's sort of no reason to have it anymore. Now we need more utility for buildings, or, or not buildings, more utility like stuff for the oil rig itself. Now looking through some pictures 
of oil rigs. They use a lot of pipes, uh, a lot of sort of vents and all that kind of stuff. So I think on this side would be perfect for these, these have these uh, giant square looking vents, right? Now, if we had, I think I'm going to go back to my grey wool because I really like that colour. And uh, we'll do it so we have a two block and a two block around the side. I'm going to make these giant squares. I'm thinking a four by four space. That's four by three. Oh, you know, four by three works. Yeah, a four by three space in the middle. We'll have a block in between. Uh, two of them will do. Two of them will do. And then we're going to come back. Uh, what's going to be the best way? You know, if I just do that, set 35.7. That's probably just the smartest way. Whoops, I uh, stuck inside. And then we can carve this back out again, right? I'm going to change the bl back block here to black. So uh, 5, 2 will do. Set 5, 2. And there, set 5, 2. And uh, to make it look like a vent, we're going to get carpets... And I'm going to use a lighter colour so they stand out more. And we're going to put them on like that. So then it looks like uh, it's sort of vented off. I don't know, this is for some sort of um, smoke or, or some sort of air purifiers. I don't know what they do. And then we need to start using these pipes. These pipes are going to be like our best friend on this uh, place. Bent. Bent. Hello. Oh, uh... Straight bent. There we go. And I'll have another one lower down. Uh, straight bent. Straight, straight. And then I don't know that one and that one. Straight, 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 straight. Bent, bent. So they look a little bit different. They're not the, ex exactly the same uh, height. Top here. I mean, I don't want it to just uh, be a cube of grey. Do we slab the top of it? It'd be a very subtle change. No, it's not enough of a change. Uh, this one. It looks, it looks a little bit too plain. We've got... Yeah, it, it's too plain of a colour. Uh, this one. Yeah, that'll do. That'll be right. We'll go with that. It's not, not quite what I want, but it'll do. I was thinking about doing carpets, but I think they'd be too thin. Right, marvellous. So there's two giant vents off the side. We're using up all of this space, I think, pretty well. Uh, I want to do some pipes that, or, or not, they might not be pipes. They might be more of uh, just water line, electric lines or water lines or something like that. So to do that, we're going to just use, what colour shall we do? Yellow? We'll probably use yellow. Uh, and these are going to sort of run along the floor a little bit in some spots. They're going to go from buildings to other buildings and stuff like that. So we can have them... Let's do it like, like that. So it looks like it's going up and into the building. And then we'll lead it this way. We'll lead it down here. I think we'll take this window out. And we'll lead one into there. And then we'll lead one round. Oops. Uh, no, okay, I can run there. And then we'll lead it so it goes, I don't know, down. We can maybe go underneath here. Which one was it? That one? That one. And do some stuff like that. So it sort of actually, it actually does go through the ground to the one below. Um, I want to sort of tee them off in more spots as well. Ooh, hello phone. So I'll have one leading out to here for the minute. I don't know what's going to be on here, but we'll just lead out to here for the minute. Ah, no, I can't have it there. I need to go in by a block. Because we're going to have um, iron bars. We'll run round eventually. Uh, we'll run round the whole place. And if we had these blocks going here, the iron bars would connect up to it. And I hate it when it does that. I, I don't like the look of it when, when that happens. 
But yeah, this will go around the top here. Oh, it's going to connect up to that bit. I forgot about that. Okay, that's fine. Could I move it back by one? And I could. I could move it back and in. I could. Do we? Oh, go on then. We'll just do that and then we'll stop, okay? Uh, that one. Oops. That one. Two. That one. I think that will actually just get all of it, right? Sounds good to me. So if I stand here and I cut. I didn't get the bottom ones. It's okay. And then we go back one, two. Paste. Oh, and I need to go back one, didn't I? Undo. Ah, uh, oh. Where was I? Let's try here. No. Um. Um. Undo. Back one, two. Try here. I didn't need to go back two. I only needed to go back one. That's, that's going to be the one. Yeah, that's the one. Okay, perfect. Could have messed that up more. So now this runs around with one block space to clear. And it doesn't connect up. Then it looks, I think it just looks a lot neater. Don't you? I think you'll agree. Right. And then. That one in. And that one in. That one there. That one there. Take those away. Alright, awesome. That looks better. Right, cool. We're going to leave it there, guys. We've got a huge amount done on the oil rig today. Still a lot of stuff that we need to add. I want to have, uh, like, a bridge that sort of connects up, I don't know, that one to that one. Get some different layers going. Really fill up the whole thing. We need to do some stuff on these bottom layers as well. I, I might keep one or two sort of somewhat empty, but I definitely want to have something going on on these. Uh, so, yeah, we've got definitely got a few episodes left on the uh, the oil rig. But we'll float between them. Maybe we'll be here next episode. Will we be here? Yeah, we probably will be. If you guys enjoyed the episode, hit that like button. If you haven't already, then feel free to subscribe. We shall see you in the next episode.